Hi, I'm Dr. John Valenza, Interim Dean of the University of Texas Dental Branch at Houston. Welcome to the construction site for the new Dental Branch building. It's January 2011 and the building has been under construction now for about a year, which puts it just beyond the halfway mark towards completion. Today we're going to show you the inside and outside of the building and how some of our earlier sketches are now coming to life. In terms of square footage, the sixth floor building is designed so that the lower floors are larger and the upper floor is progressively smaller as you go up. In general, space in the building is organized into three distinct areas. The first two floors are clinical and clinical support. Floors three and four are primarily classrooms and labs, including a library and student center. And the top two floors are for departmental and administrative offices. The new building is connected to the Behavioral and Biomedical Sciences Building, which opened in February 2010. This building currently houses many of our researchers and will ultimately be home to other researchers and the new Houston Center for Biomaterials and Biomimetics. The new dental school building is approximately 300,000 square feet, plus a 14,000 square foot conference center to be known as the Faculty Life Center. Overall, the new dental school building project has meant jobs to nearly 1,100 workers and averages about 350 workers on site on any given day. The project remains on schedule and under budget. Let's take a look inside. The first floor entry will be inviting to patients and visitors. Besides a reception desk and patient seating, the main lobby will connect to an historical exhibit, a grab-and-go food service, and UT Dentists, our school's faculty practice. The main lobby will also provide a direct indoor connection to the Faculty Life Center, a new multi-purpose conference facility for the school and health science center, which will be used for classroom instruction, meetings, continuing education, and special events. Clinics in the new building will generally be open concept. The open layout will provide greater flexibility in utilization of operatories and will be faculty friendly for supervision of students. And although we are increasing the DDS class size, we'll have about the same number of operatories in the new building compared to the current building. One of the most exciting locations in the new building is the simulation clinic. This 106 station facility will be like no other in the world. As you can see, it looks and feels like one of our clinics, not like a laboratory. The simulation clinic will integrate our electronic patient record and virtual patients for the clinical education of students. In this model, each student will treat a family of standardized virtual patients during the clinical years. These simulated patients will have demographics, medical and dental histories, digital radiographs and photographs, and much more. On the fourth floor are classrooms and the library and learning commons. These classrooms will be state-of-the-art and high-tech. Some, like these, will have tiered floors and fixed seats and tables, while others will have flat floors and all movable furniture. Just off the elevators on the fourth floor is one of several gathering places in the building. This kiosk will be a meeting area for students, faculty, staff, and alumni, whether it be to talk about a clinical issue over a cup of coffee or plan a new research project. The kiosk is just outside the library and learning commons, in today's new world of information technology, we had to rethink the role of a traditional library and how best to meet the information, private study, and collaborative needs of our students and faculty. This new commons, from its eye desk to the training center, group rooms, and study carrels, will provide a diverse learning environment for students. As part of the Faculty Life Center project, our new campus will have a beautiful courtyard that on any nice day will invite the campus community, patients, and visitors to enjoy. The courtyard will have areas of shade, seating, and open lawn, and has been developed in a natural and environmentally friendly design. The past year has gone by quickly as measured by progress on the new building. Needless to say, excitement is growing as moving day will be here before we know it. Along with our construction project, we're rebuilding our programs in patient care, research, and education, recruiting outstanding students and faculty, preparing for our accreditation site visit in March 2012, and last but not least, 
We're enjoying tremendous support from our university, alumni, organized dentistry, and the community. It's a great time to be part of the school. So as you can see, a lot has been done, but a lot remains to be done. Our estimated move-in is May 2012. So stay tuned, the best is yet to come.